Uh, so my name is uh, William Helms Drover. I've been working in the archives for about uh, three months now, ever since the start of summer. Uh, I have the position of archives assistant, assistant, which means I'm helping in and around the archives and also around the office as well. One of my main jobs this summer was or I suppose it was the main job of the archive team this summer was to reorganize the archive space in a way that was more accessible than it was before. Well, what really piqued my interest about this job was, uh, really it was the historical aspect. Being able to go in there and for once not just you know read an article but actually handle uh, the items and correspondence and actual documents from 200 years ago. Hi, my name is Mickey. I'm an archival assistant this summer. So a big piece of my work is making archives more findable and searchable. So the previous system we had in place, uh, there was a binder uh, with the finding aids. So you had to look for the relevant document you want to find in the, in the binder. Uh, so SharePoint has a search function natively. Um, so we're able to um, have a much easier time searching through whatever documents you, you want to find. Um, and we attached a physical location code to everything. So now if you find a document and it says it's in um, a physical location, you can just go to that location and retrieve your documents. I think it was a unique experience. We got to see some really old documents that you wouldn't be able to see normally. Um, and uh, it was interesting looking at um, the history of early Canada through, through the lens of the church. The church was quite a different institution back then. Um, and quite a lot, in many ways, more important to, uh, to the lives of the the settlers. Uh, so that was, that was quite interesting to see. So I'm Karana and I was working as an archive assistant this summer. Yeah, so this summer I was in to help clean up and resort um, and move all of our archives online. So most of what I was working on was um, cleaning up the physical space and accessioning all of the pieces that we might have had sitting around or that we might have gotten in the past year or so from parishes and making sure they're all in boxes so they can be found. The work here that I really enjoyed was being able to go through all of these old documents that we have and old books that we have here at the archives. They tell the story of, like, of the Diocese of Ontario, but also the local history um, and the people who settled here and founded the area. I've grown up in Kingston my whole life, so being able to see that side of things, the actual documents that show the land, you know, the land that was given for the diocese. Being able to show it all, bring it out um, from our Synod journals that date back to 1862 to the books that we have in our archives that are written in Latin and Hebrew and Greek that go back to the 1500s. Um, un unboxing those, seeing those, and then making sure that they're stored in a way that uh, people can see them for the next 100 years, the next 200 years. So to both carry on the legacy here at, of the diocese and 
also just carry on history and uh, and have that stored. Uh, it was really amazing to see it. And it's important that we have it available for people.